right so we got power we got no spinny spinny from the motor back there we do get a click so i'm not familiar with these i'm familiar with the scooters and i've had a scooter that did the whole click thing and so there was like there was like a fuse or something that i bypassed so i'm gonna i'm gonna take the skin off of it and we're gonna look and see if we can't get this thing running so you really don't need to take this off um i did take out the bolt it was basically stripped as you can see there i did hammer in a flathead i was able to get it off but you really don't need to you can take this plastic piece off you're going to want to disconnect this that's how you charge and disconnect this that's connected to your toggle and then we'll go from there all right so i did take that top off the way you take it off you take a screw out of here and then right here there's two screws you got to take off too so i'm gonna have to look at this i'm gonna have to try to figure out because there's no i haven't looked on youtube uh i think there is a good video for these razor scooters that actually explains if you pull this and it goes click it, it specifically means something um myself i've just rewired a razor scooter like a scooter scooter not so much a dirt bike before this thing has power. I charged it off my solar setup. It's been charging all day. I know these two batteries are fully topped off. Um, we just need to get the power directly to this versus running through a series of connections and maybe a fuse is out. I don't know. Um, but we'll get this running. I promise you. I'll let you know how to do it too. As you can see here, it's not as simple as replacing that, which came out of right there. I'll try to zoom out. That's terrible. It's heavily pixelated. There we go now we'll zoom in um that came out of there so i mean this is good so this definitely ain't the problem all right with the toggle disconnected these two wires were the only wires that were connected to the three switch toggle the negative went over here to that negative that you see there the black wire sitting by itself um which is off of your charger same thing happened i got i got a click um Maybe it's not grounded. Maybe I'll plug that in. Maybe it grounds itself and then maybe it'll go. Otherwise, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to test the motor. Like the motor is a positive and negative. That's super easy to test. Uh, but we'll see because may maybe this is bad. I can't see it being bad. This thing's pretty crispy. Like, like the tires don't look like it was ever used. Like, um, so I doubt this is bad unless, you know, because every All right. So I originally connected it. I'd pull the throttle and you would hear right and then it wouldn't do it again like it do it once it wouldn't do it again so what i did i connected this to there you can see that's plugged in um we still have that negative not connected to anything but uh now we have a consistent clicking every time that i squeeze it so before it was tripping something immediately where it wouldn't click again now we have constant clicking i think that ground needs to be connected to something and we might be all right then all right, guys, so I looked up the wiring for this. It's actually really simple. Um, that fuse is the only bypass. That's the only thing, unlike the scooters, the scooter actually had like a little thing embedded in the side here uh, that you were able to bypass. I have this bridged. I have it bridged. You can see power is flowing, and every time I twist the throttle, hmm. so I, I didn't test the motor yet. I know the motor works. I, I, I'd be willing to put motors put motor the money works um put put money that this motor works uh, i'm gonna try there's not much more that i can do um i'm gonna try to really look at these wires and see if maybe there is something else i can do just to show you that's what i use to bridge it um and now that that's out we have no power because that's uh detecting that the fuse is blown um with this fuse in it which again is not blown we've already looked at it um it will again toggle so the toggle is not bad the fuse is not bad we have power this could be bad um again i'm gonna see if maybe there's one or two other things maybe there's there has to be something i could bypass because i've had scooters that did the same thing and i was able to figure out how to get them going Okay, guys, so I'm back to having this bridge. I get lots of clicks and whatnot. I tried to spin this wheel because I, I, I'm at, like, I'm searching now. Um, and somebody said it needs help. Dude, none of my stuff needed help. It would just go. Yes, it's, it's, it's throttly, but whatever, it would just go. So throttling and giving this help is not working. Um, I'm going to J-drone it. Hold on. Just had this lightly spinning. Um, what I did was I connected the negative directly to the motor and i'll try to do it i don't know if i can do it with one hand here um here, let's see just gonna touch that positive you see it move 
No, it's not. So maybe it is the batteries. Maybe these batteries are trash. If they are, I got more batteries. I also got light bulb batteries. I, I want to get that spinning. And then we'll J-drone it. Or we'll just have this fixed like it should be. And we'll have it throttled. Give me a second. All right, guys. I got it hooked to a battery charger because I hooked, the, hooked it up to this. Which is essentially a dope voltmeter. Um, that it will charge if the sun would ever come out. It's barely out. It's showing it's out. But I got 0, 0.0 amps. And I am charging the cell phone that we're recording this off of. Right now off of it. Um, but we're going to see if we can juice that battery. And get that to actually spin spin. And then if not, I'll J-drone it. See the voltage? It's not fluctuating. And again, we're charging off of solar. You can see that little sun icon off to the left underneath 0, 0.00 amps. Um, my solar panel right now is actually not getting direct sunlight towards the end of the day. It gets direct sunlight. Uh, but you can see 13 volts. That's this battery here, which we weren't messing with yesterday. Um, this battery here just came off of it. And this is the one that I don't think we're going to be able to recover. I am going to hook it to a 12 volt, um, Duralast charger and see if I can't revive it. If not, it's cool. I got extra batteries. One of the two is good. This one was the one that was fluctuating all over the place that I showed you in the beginning of the video. This is what it should look like. The fluctuation in the beginning of the video is very typical when you try to recharge or revitalize something off of solar, um, because the solar controller is trying to do its job and not overcharge it but if it's so discharged sometimes it's really not sure what it's supposed to do and it kind of just dumps in energy shuts off dumps in shuts off and that's what was going on when that was fluctuating like that but as you can see we're extremely stable right now so we have one good battery um this is a bad battery this is a good battery though i have power wheels i have scooters i have these batteries this thing will be running soon It'd be good to go this is the alternate battery that i had um laying around the house which i believe i bought brand new uh for one of the power wheels or one of the bikes or maybe the dune racer or something this is the old battery that was stable holding a charge you can see the voltage on both of them is sitting at 13.3 uh which will leave it at a fully charged at 24.6 you can see it's trying to go up to four this is being charged by solar that black cord that goes out sh that way is connected to a 250 watt solar panel but i think i can disconnect this reconnect all this and that wheel should spin via the throttle without modifying this so this is the battery, the original battery. You can see it's jumping all over the place. Solar controller doesn't quite know what to do with it. It wants to charge at 24 volts. It wants to charge at 12 volts. It's probably so low that maybe, maybe a really good car charger might be able to revive that. But as far as my solar setup, it has no clue what to do with it. No modifications, it's all back together. Yeah, let's go.